Hello, and welcome to another G.I. Joe centric video. Today I thought I'd do some reviews. I just picked up the Mission Splashdown Timeless Collection caps, Space Capsule and Astronaut. So I'll be reviewing that. And I also thought that I would review some of the other astronaut figures that I've picked up recently and a while back. We have the Mercury Astronaut figure, Classic Collection Shuttle Astronaut, and we also have the Apollo 11 guy. So without further ado, let's take a look at Mission Splashdown. Came in a very, very nice box, which I quite ridiculously and stupidly tore by re with my recliner after I'd opened the package. However, it was packed well. Came in this neat window where you could see everything inside. And except for the tear, the box is pretty good. We'll just put some packing tape on that. And now to the real meat. All right. Space capsule here is reminiscent very much and pretty good copy of the original vintage G.I. Joe capsule. The capsule is basically the same size as the Mercury. It's in scale for the Mercury capsules that were actually used. A little bit small, but pretty close. Okay. A little closer look here. On one side here we have the glass, the plastic actually, slides over so you can remove the figure. Let's take a good close look at him and the capsule. Inside we have a pretty good repro again of the sticker that came in the original. There's a little seat belt form in there. And the capsule, of course, has good old United States emblem on it. I'll put this on the side. Let's take a look at the Joe that came with it. Typical classic collection Joe, it appears from his face. Excuse me, not classic collection. Timeless collection. Got the usual head sculpt. He's got this weird kind of greenish gray paint on his lips. We'll have to get rid of that. The outfit appears to be made out of plastic, some kind of vinyl, it looks like. And a very, very nice American flag embroidered on the sleeve. Let's see what it takes to get him out of this outfit. Got a center zipper. And we got. Come on out of there. The zipper that goes over his shoulder. And one going down the back. Looks to me like you could get him out of this outfit without even messing with the two front zippers. As I recall, the original outfits didn't have a back zipper, so maybe they just put them on there for looks. Gloves pop right off, I would think. Yep. And yep. Same with the booties. No real boots here, just a pair of these vinyl looking booties. And let's see here. Nice elastic neck for holding the helmet on. Yep, sure as hell. You can just pull him right out of here. Just by using the back zipper on the jumpsuit. Didn't really need to undo those front zippers at all. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's take a little closer look at the outfit. Uh, the gloves, pretty good made. Again, they're made out of some kind of thick vinyl. Looks like it'll hold up pretty well for display, although I wouldn't wouldn't let a kid play with this real hard. Little clasp on the back to hold it all together. 
And then we have the helmet. And reason looks like a reasonable reproduction of the originals. Reminds me a lot of the ones Cotswold sells. Visor goes up and down. Oxygen hose. Okay, now for the figure itself. Well, at first look, this guy's pretty floppy. I don't know if he came that way or if he was originally put in the box that way or if it was from sitting like this in its base capsule for 20 years. Let's see if he'll stand. Yeah, he stands on his own. I will probably restring and reflock this guy and use him for something else. Other than that, he's a pretty typical timeless collection guy. Decent repros. Anyhow, I think a classic collection guy will fit in that capsule better. But we'll see about that. Let's see what else. Mission Splashdown also came with these packages of gear. We have typical standard reproduction, vintage, reproduction of vintage life raft. That'll do the job. And of course an ore. This isn't a vintage, this isn't a vintage repo ore. This looks more like the one that came with the challenge of Savage River or Savage Hawk or Hawk River, whichever that is. Okay. Now what else we got? Again, a pretty reasonable repro. The oxygen pack. And the suction cups from the Spacewalk Mystery Set. The propellant gun. And I think, I'm not sure, <laughs> I think that's the way it goes on. The good old standard repro of the extremely common camera. Of course, the G.I. Joe dog tag. And a nice added bonus, which I didn't expect, was reproduction boots, jumpsuit, although it doesn't have the Astro insignia on it. And the pot, <coughs> the, <coughs> excuse me, the astronaut's white cap. So, there you have it. All in all, I bought this on eBay, and new in the box, obviously. All in all, price was fair. The amount of stuff you got was pretty good. And except for the figure was a little disappointing with his floppiness. Other than that, uh, I think I scored pretty well. Next up. We're going to review the Mercury astronaut over here. <coughs> and I think I'm going to put him in the space capsule because he's a far more accurate reproduction of the Mercury astronauts in their outfits. See you shortly. Bye. Thanks for watching.